Harold here with John Wheeler from Never Connected. We're in Brooklyn, New York for the Samsung Unpacked event, checking out all the new devices that they've launched. I guess the big uh, the big news is the uh, the phone, the Galaxy Note 10. It comes in two sizes, uh, regular size and uh, super extra large, or as they call it, the 10 Plus. So the uh, the 10 Plus, 6.8 inches. It's, it's huge, size. huge. It's huge. I mean, that's tablet size. But, you know, in the hand, it doesn't feel so bad. No, no, it, it totally feels nice. We're all getting kind of used to bigger phones anyways. And even without a case, this feels really nice. It's actually quite light compared to the previous one, I think. And uh, there's some really cool stuff in this yeah, that we haven't know, seen before. If you're going to be spending this money, I would probably look at the 10 Plus just because of the extra features in it. Uh, the big one here in North America, you can get a 5G version. They all come in the LTE, which is kind of the regular network uh, that all the carriers have, but 5G is obviously the future. Uh, so if you want a future proof yourself, the 10 Plus is the one that you can get in the 5G model. Uh, also, it's got two extra cameras on the back. It does have uh, three cameras, telephoto, wide, ultra-wide, kind of like the, uh, the Galaxy uh, 10S. Yes. Uh, but this one's also got two extra depth sensing cameras. Why? For augmented reality. This is what I'm really excited about because this will actually allows you to 3D scan an object, a person, and create a 3D printable file right on the camera. And even cooler, you can actually then take that file and say you 3D scanned a person or a stuffed animal, you can then rig it and animate it and it will actually mimic your actions in AR mode, which is really cool. Uh, being able to do this level of scanning and the quality that I saw on screen uh, is unprecedented, unprecedented on this type of a device without an external attachment. I have a 3D scanner and it's a big thing that I have to clip onto a, a tablet for it to work. Well, I also like that the, uh, the S Pen, which is a big feature of the Note series, this takes it to a whole new level. They've got all sorts of extra accelerometers built into this, so it's kind of spatially aware of where it is. This is great for the photo mode here. I can actually use this to control the remote control, the picture taking, but also I can have other functionality as well. Switching the cameras on here, I can switch the, the modes down to the bottom, back and forth, the video, the photo, the live photo, whatever I want. And uh, I can also, a cool feature here, I can use it to zoom in on stuff here. The other thing I really like too is uh, we've had the ability to adjust the blurriness of the background in the bokeh mode uh, on photos for a while. They actually have that on the video mode now too, which is really cool. You're excited about this one. This is really interesting to me. This is a Windows 10 laptop. It's ultra thin, ultra lightweight. It's just under two pounds. It actually has LTE as well. So you can get a data plan and be on the go completely autonomous. The other cool thing, 21 hours of video playback with it which is huge. I mean, it weighs nothing. Where's the battery? So another feature, if uh, you're a road warrior and you've got your new uh, Galaxy Note 10 and you've got this bad boy here as well, you can use the same charger. Yeah. So you're, you're going to be packing that. No big, no big bricks anymore. No, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, this isn't like a highly powered machine. It's using a Qualcomm processor in here. But for most people that are doing regular spreadsheets and email yeah. and, and web surfing, fantastic. Well, th this is basically just a supercharged smartphone in a really cool case. That can run Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10. The new Galaxy Fit 2 watches. And... Uh, I love them. I mean, it's got a beautiful display. They've got the two sizes, 40 and 44 millimeters, depending on what size uh, you're into. But it also has a digital bezel. In the past, Samsung had a mechanical one, which was cool, but now you can use your finger and basically scroll through all the different functions on the watch. It's it's really intuitive, and I, I like the round bezel as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like a, a really good departure from the hardware bezel. Uh, one less thing to get jammed and all that type of stuff. This one here we're going to have to uh, study a little more. It's the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Kind of more uh, going after like the iPad Pro market. Yes. Yeah. So you can get a magnetically attached keyboard for it. You can also have the pen uh, as well. And the keyboard, I don't have it around here, but the keyboard has a trackpad, which I think a lot of iPad Pro users wish they had on there. So yes. kind of an exciting uh, development. I'm interested to see how well this does. It's up in the $700 price range, so it's up there for a tablet, but that's what iPad Pros are going for. Easily, yeah. yeah. Anyway, a lot more to talk about. Stay tuned on Get Connected as we do a little more uh, in-depth uh, segments coming up over the next few weeks.